So, hey, have you ever struggled with handling criticism effectively? You know, handling it effectively can be challenging, but it's essential for personal and professional growth. Hi, I'm Tom Frizzell, and as someone who's navigated that intricate path of professional development, I'm here to share some insights on effectively handling criticism. You know, have that for the, for the, whether it's for your personal or professional growth, the one thing is you've got to embrace, embrace that growth mindset. View criticism as an opportunity for growth, not a negative judgment. Constructive feedback is it's a tool for improvement. Reframe your perspective to reduce defensiveness and open up to valuable learning experiences. You know, it, focus on the message, not the messenger. You hear that a lot, but it, it's, it's so true. Separate the content of the criticism from the purpose, person delivering it. Even if feedback is poorly delivered, there might be useful insights. You know, but you got to depersonalize criticism, help you focus on the specifics that can lead to growth. That's so important. So and listen actively, you know, when receiving criticism, give it your full attention. Avoid interrupting or forming a defense. You know, you don't want to give any of this stuff or however. Engaging through eye contact and clarifying questions. It shows you fully understand the feedback and shows respect. So reflect before reacting. Take time to reflect on the criticism rather than reacting impulsively. Analyze its merit and identify specific actions you can take to improve. That thoughtful approach will lead to better and more constructive responses. You know, when somebody gives you criticism, ask for specifics. If they just say, I didn't like that, and feedback's vague, ask for more details. Clarify what areas need improvement. Specific feedback is easier to act upon and less overwhelming. You know, whoa, whoa. show appreciation. Thank the person for their feedback, even if it's hard to hear. Gratitude shows maturity and encourages more constructive input in the future. So, implement changes. Take actionable steps now to address that feedback that could mean with improving your skills. Seek some additional training if necessary, or just Alter your approach a bit. Showing a commitment to growth builds credibility. So you always want to seek continuous feedback. This should be all going ongoing all time. Actively seek feedback to ensure consistent improvement. Regular feedback loops promote personal and professional development. If you notice, every place runs a survey. And no matter what you do, if you buy some toothpicks, they want to know how you felt about it. Balance criticism with self confidence. Don't let criticism undermine your confidence. Stay mindful of your strengths while working on areas of improvement. By embracing feedback, you can refine your skills, improve performance, and achieve your goals. I know if you'd like to dive deeper into effective professional development, connect with me directly through my email in the first comment below the video. You know, I really thank you for joining me today. Remember, embracing a growth mindset Focusing on the message and actively listening are key to handling criticism effectively. Reflect before reacting. Ask for specifics and show appreciation. Implementing changes and seeking continuous feedback will propel your personal and professional growth forward. And don't forget, balance criticism with self-confidence to stay on top. I hope these tips kind of help you navigate criticism more effectively. If you're excited about growing further, stay tuned for our next video where we'll explore some strategies for professional development. Don't forget to like me, subscribe, and connect with me directly at my email below. And for more insights, I'll see you next time, though, for sure. All right, Tom Frizzell out. Thank you.